Uh, see, function locations, uh, you know, uh, it's a uh, organizational unit in a logistic. Uh, I believe you know that. And uh, functional locations are represent to the place at which a maintenance task is to be performed. And it is uh, divided mm -hmm. into three uh, structure. And the structure is like functional criteria, process related criteria, and spatial criteria. Functional criteria is mm -hmm. like the pump stations, power plant, or any other uh, functional uh, areas where it worked. And processes mm -hmm. related to like uh, polymerizations, condensations, circularizations, or freezings, or maybe any other uh, part of the process. And uh, quite okay. obvious, as spatial criteria is hall, area, location, buildings, and this is all our spatial, where a space is needed. Mm -hmm. Okay, very a quick view, like uh, what exactly functional locations is, like it's a multi-level, okay, a hierarchical structure and mm -hmm. organizations, mm -hmm. they are organized according to the structure. So see, this is the spatial, mm -hmm. technical and functional. Yes. Okay. So uh, these are some of the theory, so like uh, functional locations are hierarchically ordered structure that represent a technical system, building or part thereof, or you can say, like building one, building two, it's like uh, the spatial, it's a space area. Mm -hmm. Technical, it's related to some of the machineries, equipments, which is installed at the functional location. Mm -hmm. Such as press, press machine, press hydraulics, DG machines or the DG set you can say, freezers, right? And a lot of equipments mm -hmm. can be installed in this functional location, so it is related to what? Technical. And mm -hmm. Process oriented is nothing but examples like as a polymerization and condensation or maybe it's related to uh, chemical uh, weaving or chemical mixings or maybe uh, like you know uh, in textiles. So how you, the dyes work, right? The mixing of chemicals and colors. And so this is related to process oriented. Mm -hmm. Okay. So uh, the aim of creating a functional location is to structure a technical system or building into units that are relevant for plan maintenance. Please note this last point why we exactly create a structure or a functional location structure. The aim of creating a functional location is to structure a technical system <coughs> or a building into units that are okay yeah. Okay, see what happened, uh, functional location means it's in a production uh, area, there is a functional location where a equipment is been installed, right? Yes. So there is a plan maintenance part is required, like maintenance is required for the equipment in the functional locations. So the structure what we will create, mm -hmm. we will identify a particular objects or a equipment from where or from which function locations for which uh, equipment a maintenance is required. Yeah. Okay. So uh, these are some of the criteria for functional locations, and I will uh, provide you a example on that. It's a, a business scenario, right? So mm -hmm. a quick uh, yeah. uh, look on this: what exactly a functional locations uh, criteria required? Educations of maintenance mm -hmm. task, recording of maintenance task, data collections over long period of time, cost monitoring by area by area in the sense means functional locations. Okay. Mm -hmm. What mm -hmm. effect do usage conditions have on the likelihood of damage to the installed aggregates? So this is, mm -hmm. uh, I believe it is uh, quite understandable uh, that uh, what uh, exactly the sentence said, right? Executions of maintenance tasks, mm -hmm. recording of maintenance tasks, data collection and so and so forth. Is it okay with you? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. See, this is uh, a structure indicator which we will create for, uh, uh, you know, uh, functional locations. And this is what the edit mask is. The edit marks uh, here, it uh, indicates like uh, A and X means alphabet, numeric and alphanumeric. So, mm -hmm. this is one of the structure uh, like A, N, A, N, 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 X, X. And this is the hierarchical level. So in functional location, the max level or hierarchical level is 6. We can keep it up to 1, mm -hmm. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, up to 6, not more than that, okay? Mm -hmm. So see the 6 level, hierarchical level is, is based on the location number. You can name it anyway, whatever you can name it. 
A1 is the first level that is the system A1B this is the second level of hierarchy that is area this is the second third level this is sub area fourth functions and this is the fifth sub functions and sixth is the item item means nothing it's a what it it's a equipment got it mm -hmm. yeah is it okay uh, so uh, okay just to understand sixth level mm -hmm. <coughs> if you go down to the last one a1 b029 c1 mm -hmm. So A1 is hierarchy 1. Yes. Hierarchy B 2. B is hierarchy 2. Mm -hmm. Hierarchy 3 is 0, 2, is it? Yes. Uh -huh. Why there is no dash in between? See here. Here it took the second level of hierarchy in A and N in 3. So C, yeah. B is... You know, you can assume or you can see that below uh, the A, the 2 is. So, I'm putting this B in the second level of hierarchy. Yes. Okay. And 0 is yes. in between. Yes. So, this is a number. N is a number. So, 0 is a number. Yeah. And N is 3 so, uh, numbers. Got you. Got it. So, but, that one is third level, yeah? Yeah, that is th third level. This is a little bit a complex, but I will make you understand by uh, putting a examples how you can create a right. easy uh, edit mask and hierarchy levels and the locations number. But this is for your notes. You can have, you can create this way also. Okay? Yeah. Okay. Let's go for examples. Uh, like, uh, let me uh, put something um structure indicator uh, uh, we can create it like structure indicator fl1 uh, I created one earlier let me show you so we need to create the structure indicator at the uh, spro and this is the configuration area this is what the steps you can follow uh, to create a structure indicator mm -hmm. technical objects function locations create structure indicator for reference locations and function locations so this is what what is the full path of that i mean do you have a path for that yes this is the part is it spro spro plan maintenance and customer service then Create structure indicator of reference location function location. Okay, see what mm -hmm. the PPT stated. This is the structure indicator for a functional location. So we need to configure this one at SPRO area. Right. Okay. Let's create one. And already I created one that is a structure indicator uh, FL1. Okay. Uh, this is what the configurations uh, we need. This is one of the configurations. So just click it. And find uh, if uh, the config uh, the structure indicator you, you have created, then it will display. Otherwise, you can create your own. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is what we created. 